is fought under unified amateur rules at a catch weight of 150 pounds and is scheduled for three three minute rounds. This one comes to you sponsored by DK Sports Massage Therapy and straight from Dakar. Your referee is Mr. Dan Moverheady. Introducing, first of all, fighting out of the balloon corner, representing Molnir MMA. His record stands at two victories and three losses. Aaron Ferrand! And introducing his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He is repping Mac Academy. His record stands at two victories and one loss. Jake Money! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This amateur couch weight contest contested at 150, 150 pounds. Sorry, Jake Money fighting out of the red corner, representing Mac Academy. Two and one record. Aaron Franz, the Molnier fighter. In the multicolored shorts, two and three record, and throws heavy to start, Melissa. I was just going to say he has lovely shorts. <laughs> 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 and then he does that. Uh, another Icelandic fighter. Yeah, they've had a good night tonight, Milnir, as a team so far. Yep. Very curious how this fight's going to go, because the way is for a bit... Uh, not heated, but a little bit cocky, I guess you might call it. Awkward. Ah, who was, uh, who was the cocky one? <laughs> Shit. That's how you say his name. Just smiling. Eye contact. Well, the least you can do is look a man in the eye before you punch him in the face, I suppose, right? <laughs> I mean, Judas is not uh, a, a great thing that's looked upon. That's very relaxed, considering. Yeah, it seems to me that this is this is where Czech wants it. He seems very, very relaxed and composed. Oh. <laughs> Threatens with the spinning back kick and is overextending a little bit, reaching. 100%. I think he's a little bit like cautious of what he actually wants to throw. It's been such a manic first round. He hasn't really been able to gauge or decide how uh, Aaron is as a fighter. Nice shot on the disengagement there. Just seems very, very relaxed, this Czech man here then. Yeah, it's like everything's kind of a little bit slow motion as he throws through. Yeah. However, he has landed that quite a few times. He's gone for oh, I mean, sort of overhand shoot sort of situation. Trying to take get onto the back now, but again, good work from the Monier man. Now on the single himself. <laughs> he just did like a little bit of break dancing there. Down to one knee, but good, strong takedown, but again. Oh! And then drags his... Is that in? I don't think it's under, but he's certainly gonna have to be... Oh, no, there's no tension. I can see like, a gap between the armpit and the... Although, is he gonna try and use this to dig... Dig in the hooks? Nice yeah, good... Good composure shown there by Franz. Oh, I thought we were gonna get a German. <laughs> I did, I just stood up. I, I, I would have stood up. He's really searching for that sort of back position without the hooks. Very frantic first round. It was like the battle of the underhook. Yeah, and it was... You know, these guys both have four or five fight experience. They're not sort of debuting amateurs. And maybe just... Relax a little bit. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's what you're meant to do in the first round, is sort of feel out the first round and decide how you're going to sort of play your next two rounds. But Don't you have some first round, like, TKO whoopings on your record? 
That, that's not feeling out the first round, Melissa Mullins. <laughs> that's going in and whooping people. Oh, that's my amateur fight. So it's yeah. Uh, and all of my pro fight wins, apart from two, have been TKO. So going the distance ain't for you? Apparently not. <laughs> Right, second second round here. Very relaxed again going into the second round. Well, again, neither of them breathing heavy, but they both throw the opening shots with some real intention. And I wasn't sure if that was as much check taking him down as Franz being off balance having thrown a heavy shot. Ooh. I thought we were going to see a double knockout there. Both throw their like, right hook at the same time. Their right hook. An elbow. That's one, bud. Well, forearm, right? Let's oh. This is a fucking ding dong. Oh, sorry, this one. That's all right. Please do not swear. We are a family friendly program. Steve. Yes. I, I, I will try very hard to not fucking swear. <laughs> and, and, you know, friends. This is a ding-dong. This no, is I, but it's kind of like technique be damned now. We're just going to throw leather. They need no gloves on. They're knuckle. Oh, digs in there. Overreaches a little bit. He's got range. He doesn't even need to overreach. His arms are so long. And uh, both fighters now. Both fighters now taking a bit of a... <laughs> Bit of a break and... They are going to be gas going into this third round. If either of them make it... Uh, you still got a minute and a half of this round left. On the back, no hooks out. Tries to secure one. Yes, gets it in now. Nah, his chin is down, his chin is down. That's not in. He's got lots of time to work, though. There it is. And there's the tap. Yeah, quite like to see that. But Czech Mane, I mean, the whole fight, it was like he was waiting for a bus. So relaxed. <laughs> Just. So relaxed. Very happy with the win. I'm moving to three and one now. Still. Air France, something about that eye. And as soon as he gets up, he's... It wasn't clear enough in the video to see anything. From what I can see, though, it didn't look like a thing, but... We shall see. Yeah, well... That rear naked was sunk in, sunk in tight. Yeah. Nothing controversial about the tap whatsoever. Give a quick shout to DK Sports Massage Therapy for sponsoring this bout. We'll turn it over to our MC and he will make the result Ladies official. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner as the result of a submission with a rear naked chokehold. Coming one minute and 46 seconds into round number two in the red corner, Jake Marty. And please show your appreciation for his opponent, Aaron. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by your winner, Jack Marne. Absolutely wild back and forth fight there as long as it lasted. Tell me how you're feeling. Feeling great, man. I just want to say thank you to the Golden Ticket judges. Last time I fought here, everyone knew that I won the fight, but they made me fighter. Because I lost from that loose, they made me better fight. Thank you to the judges. Thank you to the judges. Between that, Now straight away you went over and celebrated with your team there. Just how big a role do your team play in, uh, in your career and, and obviously your development going forward? You know, I lose my dad 2019 from here by lung cancer. 
by the time I find this guy, I can't feel the absence of my dad. He's taking care of me, whatever I need. He forced me to train day, afternoon, night. Volley, Ken Kelly, and then the future Harry Prince. Thank you for support, my family. I want free from Senegal. There's war in time with the fucking dictator. We don't want to leave our country free. I want to hear everybody say, free Senegal! Free Senegal! Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up your winner with the share. Keep on moving, they keep silent. If you feel 